Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. The Boeing B-52 Stratofortress is recognized worldwide as one of history's most successful long-range bombers. Developed in the 1950s, the B-52 served extensively during the Cold War, Vietnam War, and later conflicts like the Iraq War and Afghanistan. In total, the newest variants of the B-52 have been in service for more than 60 years. However, the United States military recently released plans to keep this iconic aircraft flying for several more decades. The B-52 has gone through extensive upgrades since its introduction. However, one of the things that has remained largely the same is the plane's engines. The B-52 features four dual-engine pods consisting of eight Pratt & Whitney TF-33 P3-103 turbofan engines. Each of these can produce around 17,000 pounds of thrust. This is necessary as a fully loaded B-52 can weigh as much as 488,000 pounds. Due to their age, the TF-33s have earned a reputation as being very maintenance intensive. Sometimes, they can also take a long time to warm up, up to an hour. Of course, in the event of an emergency, the Stratofortress crew needs to be able to get up and into the air as soon as possible. This has led to innovative solutions such as the cart start. In this situation, small shotgun shell like devices will be attached to the turbofans. When detonated, they supply a considerable volume of pressurized gas to turn the compressor and allow the plane to get airborne in just a few minutes. In early 2023, the United States military announced it was working on upgrades that would eventually allow the B-52 to serve for more than 100 years. The most notable of these improvements would replace the TF-33 engines with new Rolls-Royce F-130s. These new engines produce the same amount of thrust but offer a much higher fuel efficiency. They will also prove far less maintenance intensive than the B-52's current engines, which could save the U.S. billions over the coming decades. The testing of these new F-130 dual-engine pods started in February and is expected to continue throughout the year. There have been a total of 13 different B-52 variants produced over the years. However, the U.S. military continues to invest significant time, energy, and funds in improving and upgrading existing planes in the fleet.
One such upgrade was the Connect system, which stands for Combat Network Communications Technology. Connect was explicitly intended to improve the B-52's ability to operate in a modern combat environment. It accomplishes this via enhanced communication, better situational awareness, and improved combat integration. For instance, the Connect system enables the bomber to securely and seamlessly exchange data with other friendly aircraft ground stations, and command centers. How do you loud and clear? It supports both classified and unclassified networks, allowing for enhanced coordination and information sharing. The system also features advanced sensors, display, and data fusion capabilities, so the crew can be better prepared for what it might encounter while on a mission. Lastly, it replaces analog interference systems with digital ones, some of which include automation to enhance crew reaction times. The original B-52 was designed to carry traditional weighted bombs. Which it dropped from its two bomb bays onto various targets. While effective, this design does not allow for much versatility. That's why many B-52s have been modified to carry the Common Strategic Rotary Launcher, or CSRL. This rotating weapon system is designed to carry a range of missiles, bombs, and smart munitions. Depending on a given situation, the crew can quickly alter its weapon type at the flick of a switch. Not only does this offer a significant firepower advantage, but it dramatically increases overall mission flexibility. The B-52's long range also makes it an ideal platform for launching weapons deep into enemy territory. However, in recent years, the U.S. military has experimented using fighter jets to deploy payloads like the B-61 nuclear bomb. Because nuclear weapons are so much more destructive than their conventional counterparts, it would only take one successful strike to alter the course of a battle. And while a subsonic plane would take hours to get out of enemy airspace, a fighter like this F-15 Eagle could escape at more than twice the speed of sound. The original F-15 joined the United States Arsenal in the mid-1970s. However, due to changes in the nature of warfare, the Air Force soon realized that it needed a different type of aircraft to remain competitive on the world stage. This led to the development of the F-15E Strike Eagle. And in 2018, the F-15EX Eagle II. Rather than operating as an air superiority fighter, the Strike Eagle is optimized for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat scenarios. It also incorporates modernized avionics, an advanced electronic warfare suite, improved radar capabilities, and updated mission systems. Yeah. 
The two-seater EX also boasts new engines, which offer improved fuel consumption and thrust. Last but not least, the new model can carry a broader range of weaponry, including missiles, rockets, bombs, and more. The 2018 Eagle II upgrade was handled by Boeing, the same company behind the B-52. Engineers at the company decided to equip the EX with two Pratt & Whitney F-100 PW-229 engines. Though they weigh slightly more than the original engines, they can provide 17,800 pounds of thrust under normal conditions and up to 29,000 pounds with afterburners. This represents an increase of 3,000 and 5,000 pounds respectively. The EX's improved sensor systems and avionics feature the Eagle Passive Active Warning and Survivability System, which enhances situational awareness, threat detection, and electronic warfare capabilities. The Boeing engineers also spent a lot of time and effort figuring out how to increase the F-15 EX's payload capacity. As it would not be a multi-role aircraft, it would need a much broader range of weaponry. The final version can not only carry more missiles and bombs, but more fuel as well, extending its flying time while allowing for an increased range. As with all new aircraft, the F-15EX underwent extensive testing. Much of this was performed at Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada. Both airmen assigned to the 53rd Wing and 96th Aircraft Maintenance Squadron spent weeks evaluating the Eagle II and familiarizing themselves with the new systems. Ultimately, the U.S. Department of Defense purchased 12 new planes, with 144 more to go. The military hopes that they will be able to stay in service until at least 2028. The F-16 Fighting Falcon represents another successful yet aging multi-role fighter aircraft. First introduced in 1979, the F-16 was specifically designed to be a cost-effective, lightweight aircraft that could perform a wide variety of missions without needing to be reconfigured. Its specializations include air-to-air -air combat, air-to-ground strikes, suppression of enemy air defenses, close air support, and reconnaissance making it one of the most versatile planes in U.S. military history. Though the Fighting Falcon remains in service across the world, it has required numerous upgrades to its avionics and weapon systems to remain competitive against modern fighters and ground-to-air defenses. In 2012, manufacturer Lockheed Martin began working on a modernized F-16 variant known as the F-16V or Block 70 variant. This highly advanced model would incorporate various modern technologies to improve the plane's combat capabilities, situational awareness, and survivability against new current opponents. Among the most notable upgrades is Block 70's advanced AESA radar system, which provides improved target detection, tracking, and electronic warfare capabilities. Not all aircraft upgrades are done in the factory. In the early 2000s, Lockheed Martin introduced a new external sensor pack for the F-15 and F-16 known as the Legion Pod. Essentially, this highly advanced situational awareness system includes a high-resolution infrared sensor, an electro-optical camera, and a laser designator. These components work together to capture imagery and gather data in various spectrums, 
allowing the aircraft to identify and track targets on the ground or in the air. As these fighters transition from frontline air combat planes to multi-role aircraft, their ability to provide enhanced surveillance will keep them flying for years to come. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.